I know that Chuck Rosenberg wants to jump in on that, but that news out of North Dakota that I alluded to a moment ago, uh, we can report. This is from WDAY, a local affiliate in North Dakota who sat down and did a one-on-one -on -one with Senator Heidi Heitkamp. We don't have this video up yet, but uh, they are reporting, and she does say that she will vote no on the Supreme Court nominee, Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Um, that means that that's one of those five taken out of the unknown box and put into the no box. Uh, puts a lot more pressure on Collins and Murkowski, but still, again, we don't know where Senator Manchin is gonna go, whether he will vote yes or no on this nomination. We also don't know the motivation for Heitkamp if this is um, if this is something where she says, I'm down in the polls and I'm gonna vote my conscience, or is she trying to uh, drum up the Democratic base or voters that might not like this in North Dakota? Uh, who knows? Uh, Chuck, uh, respond to Peter in terms of what he was talking about with the FBI investigation. Sure. It's the difference between capability and authority, Katie. The FBI certainly has the capability of interviewing however many witnesses they need to interview, and they can do it quickly. So I'm not overly concerned about the time constraints. The authority is the question. Mm. This is not a criminal investigation. It's a background investigation, the terms of which are set by the client the White House in this case. And so while they could have talked to a lot more people and probably would have talked to a lot more people, the client said talk to this, this group of people and report back. That is the entire extent of the FBI's authority to investigate in this matter. Um, Ashley Parker, Heidi Heitkamp is an interesting figure because at one point, and you tell me if I'm wrong in this, but at one point she did travel on Air Force One with the president uh, when they were talking about a certain policy issue. I believe it was either earlier this year or late last year. But since then, the president has campaigned um, for, her, for her competitor in North Dakota. And the latest Fox News poll has her down double digits. Uh, this news that she's going to vote no, it is a red state Democrat. W what do you make of it? I would add that she was also, I believe, one of these red state Democrats, including Senator Manchin, who was brought in privately to meet one-on-one -on -one with the White House in advance of uh, choosing Judge Kavanaugh to sort of see what their concerns were. So, th so there was a sense that they were potentially gettable. Um, what I make of her no, and again, we, we don't know her reasons, but that talking to people inside uh, the White House and in the Republican White House orbit in recent days, is they're sort of ecstatic about some some of the tertiary benefits of how this is playing, namely that they think it could really damage red state Democrats, and they named her specifically. They sort of said she's in this no-win situation, and they believe that a no vote from her would be devastating. Um, so again, we'll, we'll have to see why she did it. We'll have to see how that actually plays. But I think from Trump's world, they think this is nothing but pure upside from them uh, from a political point of view, assuming, of course, he has the requisite votes to get over the finish line. And here's more from that Fox News poll. Um, the poll found that if she voted against Kavanaugh's confirmation, twice as many voters say they would be less likely to vote for her. That's 34 percent rather than more likely. That's 17 percent. As of this moment, before this announcement, Kevin Kramer leads her by 12 points. That's 53 to 41. Last month, uh, he was only up by four points. So I don't know if it's the Kavanaugh nomination and all of the um, news coming out of Congress um, that has helped boost Kevin Kramer in the polls, but that's certainly been the dominant story in the past month. Um, in looking, Peter, at, at the, the sheer politics of this, not the morality of it, not do you believe the accusers, the politics of it, the Democrats, um, I would imagine, are, are making a hard, hard choice behind the scenes. What's more important, uh, trying to stop this nomination or maintaining the seats we have in the Senate and potentially, potentially, if all, if all goes their way, retaking control of the Senate so that they're in a better position should another Supreme Court nomination come, come up in the next two years. Right. No, that's a very important point. And I think that uh, it is a conundrum or a, a struggle for the Democrats as they think about it politically, as you say, not on the issues of, of morality, ethics or what have you. And it's a big question. You lose this seat. Uh, you lose a majority on the Supreme Court. It's a big, big seat because Justice, Justice Kennedy, who vacated it over the summer, was the swing vote. If you put in a, a, a solid, strong conservative like Brett Kavanaugh, that swings the majority uh, definitely to the right. If the Democrats are able to win the Senate and are able to influence 
influence the choice because Brett Kavanaugh isn't uh, uh, approved, they might get a more moderate figure mm. uh, who might be uh, more more of a swing vote. We've seen that happen before when Nixon and Reagan lost their first choices for the Supreme Court. The people who ended up in those seats were more moderate than the original choices. So a lot is at stake here. Certainly. And the question going forward, if Brett Kavanaugh is confirmed, is that a good thing for the Republicans or a better thing for the Democrats? Do Republicans maintain that excitement, that enthusiasm, that anger around the Supreme Court nominee for the month until the election? Or does that enthusiasm, does that momentum then shift the Democrats? Take a look at what we're seeing um, in, in, in Washington, D.C. right now. There are protests. It's, they had been walking uh, and making their way up Constitution Avenue to Barrett Pettyman Federal Courthouse. Um, uh, right now, it seems like they are, they've made it, or maybe they made it to, the, I guess that's the, the steps of the Capitol right there, and they are trying to convince lawmakers to say no to Kavanaugh. Again, the question, will momentum be on the Democrat side, or will it be on the Republican side? Uh, Casey Hunt had to leave to go do some reporting. Peter Baker, Ashley Parker, Chuck Rosenberg, thank you very much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.